you attacking me? Do you hear about you? Was something said? Something's always being said, isn't it? About me? No, about me. By Phil? No, Phil just had a few wisecracks. He keeps this up, he'll have a second career as a red coat. It was Sam. <laughs> oh, don't tell me she's getting in on the act as well. What was it? Nothing. Well, it must have been something. Tell me. The usual. Just stuff. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. It doesn't matter. Did you love him? Why'd you keep going on about Phil? Did you? It was all a long time ago, but yes. Yes, I did. Mm. That's really hard for you to get your head round, isn't it? That men and women can love each other. That it's not just about taking what you can get. All right, Dennis, make it easy on yourself. I was using him for sex. Use me instead. You can't say that. I just did. What's the matter with you? You're the matter with me. Dennis. Dennis, you have to stop talking like this. Why? I can't stop thinking it. How about you? Well, you're not denying it. I'm your sister. No, you're not. And I'm still not hearing any denials. You're my brother. But that's what you are. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. But it's the way it is. You know that you can't go changing the rules. What pleading rules? You hijacked me with this brother rubbish. I never wanted to be your brother. Between me and Vicky, yeah, we got blood in common, but that's not how it is between me and you, and you know it. So please, stop using this brother stuff as an excuse. It's not an excuse. I will not talk about this. Okay, then. Talking about it isn't the option I go for, but come on, let's talk about it. What are we going to do otherwise, eh? Just wait for it to go away, pretend like it's not happening. What are you trying to do to me? I'd have thought that was obvious. Oh, this would be such a coup for you, wouldn't it, eh? You've worked your way through all the women around the square, and now it's my turn. All right. So I've had a lot of women. You've had a lot of men. We're equal. I doubt that. You want this as much as me. You are so arrogant. Yeah, maybe. But I'm right. Do that for you, shall I? What are you so scared of? I ain't scared of anything. Are you worried about what people will say, what they'll think? Who cares? What does it matter? Forget about them, they're nothing. I'm brave enough for both of us. I'm not scared of people. Well, what then? I'm scared of you. Me? But... I'd never harm a hair on your head. I, I want to take care of you. I want to make you happy. I'd never hurt you, never. I'd kill anyone who hurt you. I will kill anyone who has hurt you. That's what I'm scared of. What? 
You come from a world that's tainted my life. Well, everyone's got to come from somewhere, darling. Sometimes you say killing like it's nothing. Sometimes you say it like you mean it. Well, it's, it's just a figure of speech, isn't it? I mean, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kill you. It's a cheap phrase, that's all. People use it all the time. It's not me you're scared of. It's you. That's why you live like you live. What's wrong with the way I live? Oh, shut down. I'm not shut down. How dare you? You're 33 years old. You dress like a widow. You act like one too. The love of my life is dead! Who are we talking about here? Tom. <laughs> he wasn't the love of your life. Nowhere near. If he hadn't have died, he'd have only ended up boring you to death. You didn't know him. No, but I know you. I won't bore you. I'll be better for you than all of them. How long are you going to keep hiding behind dead men? It's just another excuse. Shall I tell you something you don't know? First night I was here, I came in the club, got a drink, sat in the corner watching you. I sat there ages and I thought to myself, who is this woman? What does she want from me? What does she really want? I want a family. Well, I can't do that. I can't be that with you. I can be that with Vicky, but I can't be that with you. Why not? Because that's not how it works for me, and it's not how it works for you. How do you know? You haven't got the first idea of what goes on with me. I lie here, night after night, and I listen to you. In there. I can hear you moving about. And I know that you're no more asleep than I am. And I think, what would happen? What would happen if I just got up now, walked in our room, shut the door behind me, didn't say a word, just got into bed with her? What would she do? Well, what would happen? Would you let me around the face, chuck me out? Or are you lying there, waiting for me to come in, hoping it's me and not you that's going to make the first move? Well, here I am, making my move. What happens next is up to you. All right. Well, for someone had to say it, Sharon. And now it's out there, and I can't unsay it, and I can't unthink it. I can't do this anymore. I, I, I can't do it. I can't be shut out of here while you're in there. You might be able to do it, but I can't. Well, um, well, we'll sort something so it pans out all right with Vicky. I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, I'll meet you then. It'll be easier like that. Don't. Unless you mean it. <laughs>